In Sri Lanka's storied past, two great kings, Dutu Gemunu and Alara, faced a terrible dilemma. The weight of their crowns bore down heavily upon them as they stood on the precipice of a great clash. Their kingdoms, their people, and their honor all hung in the balance. As the winds of war began to howl, the two kings found themselves caught between duty and compassion. The drumbeats of battle threatened to drown out the cries of their people, who feared the impending carnage. The kings, however, were not deaf to these cries. Dutu Gemunu and Alara, bound by their shared love for their people, made an unprecedented decision. They chose to face each other in a duel, a single combat, far from the eyes of their subjects. In this way, they hoped to spare their kingdoms the horrors of war. So they made a choice. They fought but alone, sparing their people the horrors of war. Today's world seems far removed from such tales. Leaders fueled by ambition hide behind armies while the people suffer. In the heart of modern Colombo, a young woman named Anya watches a heated political debate on her phone, her eyes reflecting the fire of the words exchanged. The world around her buzzes with life, yet in this moment she is alone with her thoughts and the discordant voices from her device. Then an elderly vendor, Kumar, approaches her, his face etched with the wisdom of years. He watches her and perhaps seeing the turmoil in her gaze, he smiles. Lost in thought, are we? He gently teases. Anya sighs, her frustration evident. This debate? So much anger. Kumar nods, understanding her concern. Then, as if remembering an old friend, he begins. Ah, reminds me of a folktale. Two kings destined to fight chose a different path. Kumar, they fought for what they believed in, but not at the cost of their people's lives. A true leader protects, even when the path is difficult. His voice, rich with wisdom, carried the weight of time, history, and a profound understanding of human nature. They were kings, yes, but they were also men, men who knew the cost of their decisions, who felt the pain of their people. With each word the story unfolded, painting pictures of valor and sacrifice, of duty and empathy. They chose to bear the burden themselves, to shield their people from the horrors of war. That, my dear, is the power of empathy. As Kumar's words echoed in the silence, Anya found herself reflecting on the leaders of today their actions and their choices. She realized the importance of empathy, of understanding, of compassion. Perhaps the spirit of those ancient kings still lingers. Perhaps we too can choose a different path, a path of dialogue, of empathy, where leaders fight for a better future, together with their people. The choice is ours. Will we be the leaders who fight from the shadows or will we stand together for a brighter tomorrow? As we ponder this question, we see Anya, a beacon of modernity, rising from her seat. She's no longer just a passive observer, she's become a participant, a change maker. She joins a peaceful protest, advocating for unity, her voice merging with others, creating a symphony of hope. She's not alone in this journey. Thousands, millions across the globe are breaking the shackles of indifference, choosing to be part of the solution. They're saying yes to dialogue, yes to empathy. They're choosing to honor the spirit of those ancient kings, choosing a path that protects, that cares. So what will it be for us? Will we hide in the shadows or will we rise? Will we fight? The choice is ours. Will we be the leaders who fight from the shadows or will we stand together for a brighter tomorrow?